How's it going, everybody? Hope you're doing well. So, I have two packs here, which is the Vanquest Triton 31, and this is the 21. So I've been using these packs, at least specifically this one, for a little over three years, and this one uh, about two years. So I just wanted to kind of give you a brief rundown on both of them. So, like I said, 31 liters, 21 liters. I originally started with this pack, but I needed more volume. I needed more space. Um, and that's why I upgraded to this one. But so far, they have held up really, really well. Like, surprisingly well. The fabric or the Cordura nylon, what they are made out of, is really nice. i um, not going to go through, like, specific details 100%, but I am going to get into the bags and just show you what I like about them. Now, what is an interesting kind of thing that they did was which I actually like, is let me bring it down, is they actually made the color of the bag a brighter color, like orange, obviously. But what that does is actually brightens up the inside of your bag. So if you're used to, like, say, a dark bag like this, they normally use the same exact color on the inside. So if you're kind of in a lit, uh, dimly lit room and you're trying to find things within your bag, it's very difficult to do so. The orange really brightens it up, actually. Like, if I have a flashlight and I'm looking around, you can definitely see straight in there. Or you don't even need the flashlight just because it brings things out. Things don't get stuck in the bottom as easy. So, another thing that I like that they did is the whole inside is lined with Velcro. And they have these little partition kind of, they're like foam. And they come with, I think there's four of them in each bag. And you can kind of set it up like I do here for different sections. And they're very padded. This would be a good like camera bag or sensitive material or, you know, something that you don't want to get beat up or broken. There's tons of different pouches and pockets everywhere. There's two up here along this. You can see they're Velcro. There's one here, or there's two pockets, two more pockets. You also have kind of like a laptop pocket. That's what I use it as. It has a little clasp here and you can fit something down in the side. So it's really handy for those types of things like laptops or even paperwork. I put like folders and stuff back here. Also, it has another pouch on the back where I actually keep the waist belt. So I don't use the waist belt as you can see runs through there normally. I don't use it that often because it's not as heavy. Sometimes I do. If I'm going on a hike or something like that, I do want waist support and it fits in here quite nicely. It also has that Velcro in the back. So for concealed carry members or whatnot, you can get a holster to attach to that Velcro so you do have a pistol. Now you can also put body armor. It's so like soft body armor, even hard. I don't know why you would want hard because that's crazy heavy. But soft body armor that weighs like a pound and a half, two pounds, you can slip that panel insert in the back. Maybe if your kids are going to school or something like that, you want them extra protection. Or maybe you want extra, extra protection or something in a workplace or environment like that. So an interesting kind of feature about the VanQuest 3121, the Triton series, is it's not a fully clamshell opening bag. It's kind of a one-sided. So kind of designed as like a sling bag is if it's on your left side and you have and you're utilizing both your straps if you you know take your shoulder out of the right one you can kind of sling it over to your side and you can access you know the pockets and whatnot and there's two double zippers so there's one on the other side that comes all the way around and there's one on the bottom here which allows you to you know access things and whatnot and zip it back up um, on the move. It's very easy to do that. You don't have to set down your pack. There's a lot of different keepers and tie-off points on this bag, which I like a lot, and it doesn't stand out like super military. Now, before I go on, all the same features as I'm showing you on this bag is on this bag as well, so don't think I'm just pushing this off to the side. So pretty much all identical same features are between the two of them, it's just this one is smaller. So same with like the shock cord up here. This is really nice. It has pass through. Um, I've stuffed like 
full shirts or jackets through here at certain points in time. Like if I'm on the beach and it, you know, really warms up, it's, it's really nice. There's a lot of organization, main pocket, just a simple slip through design here. There's admin with keepers, which I really like, small pouches. There's ones in the back. Also here, I mean, there's, there's a small lanyard keeper here as well. If you're familiar with my channel, I use this as my everyday carry bag, and this is pretty large, but there's just tons of room for all kinds of things to keep your stuff really organized. This would be, what I said earlier, a perfect camera or a video, like videographer or something like that. This would be a perfect bag just because it's so um, nicely made and cushioned. So if you drop this bag, it's not going to damage things. I mean, of course, how... What, or how far you're dropping things, but for the most part, it is very protected in here. And I've used this bag, like I said, this one for three years, this one for two years. And there isn't even that much wear on it, even though like you can see some wear on the bottom and on the corners and stuff. So it is definitely being used. This is an everyday bag. And originally this was an everyday bag for me as well. And they hold up very well. The back is very nicely done. Um, seeds can kind of get in here, but it is comfortable as well. But I really like these bags. I know they're kind of hard to find because a lot of people like them. But if you can find one, I would definitely recommend them. They are a little bit expensive. Last time I checked, the smaller one was one one fifty ish. So that's that's kind of a lot, but. That was three years ago when they first came out and everybody wanted them. They're probably a little bit lower than that. This was 179 when I picked it up, so it might be a little bit less than that. I don't know. Prices vary. It could go up. It could go down demand, other things like that. But also, actually, it has a drinking tube as well through that. I forgot to mention that. So if you are a hiker, um, you have your compression or load-bearing straps up here, too, that you can cinch down, and it has a sternum strap which is very handy along with the belt but i would highly recommend this if this is something that you are looking into the design is awesome um i mean i'll roll photos and different things in that you can see that i've used it through and it's just they're both great bags i mean can they get better they could probably just get lighter like honestly later in the future if they would just make this lighter it's not even that heavy but you can always strive to be lighter, but I'm not too sure of how like heavy it is right off the bat, but it, it's not that bad at all, especially for the durability that you're getting. But yeah, this is just kind of a quick rundown. Um, just wanting to share my thoughts on it. I really enjoyed these bags like a lot. I still use this one every single day, so I'll probably do another three-year update or something later down the line. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, give me a like. Hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more stuff coming up. A lot of good stuff coming up, too, I actually have in the works. So thank you. I hope you all have a great day.